Another option is to utilize this real-time function. So let's reset pitch envelopes. So now we just have a normal stack and I'll reset the envelope and offset as well. So we have a nice sounding stacked snare. So I'll turn down that mega snare just a little bit more. What we can do is use the real-time pitch effects along with the tuning parameter. You can use MIDI Learn with both. If I right-click on the tuning parameter or the pitch effects parameter, I can MIDI Learn both. I can bind both to a macro. So really, using the tuning without the process algorithm and the pitch effects real-time, you're essentially doing the same thing. We'll grab the whole stack and let's take a listen. But if we combine them, we can get some different results. I'm going to mute our stack just for the time being. So we're dealing with just our original snare. And let's pitch it down. We'll use the process algorithm. So we have a nice, fat sounding snare drum. And now when we use the real-time pitch adjustment and the pitch effects parameter, we're adjusting the pitch of the processed tuned drum. So I may pitch down my drum using the tuning parameter, but pitch it up using the pitch effects. You can hear that has a slightly different sound. I basically pitched down and pitched up the same amount, but because of the processing that's happening, we get a different sound. So you can use this to your advantage to be creative and get some new sounds that you may not otherwise come across. There we almost have a 808 type sounding electronic snare. We can go the other direction as well. Let's actually go back down. We'll use that fatter snare sound. We'll process it. Do the same thing on the rim shot. Right now our mega snare, electronic snare is still muted. Then we can take the stack and we can adjust the real-time pitch effects for our stacked, tuned down snare drum with the higher quality algorithm applied. or we can do different pitch effects to each of these articulations. And then of course we can bring in our mega snare and do the same thing. Let's go to the bass drum and let's add an 808 sound, stack it on top and make some pitch adjustments. We'll load the volume a bit and I'll just make a few velocity adjustments. And 
so what we've essentially done is taken an acoustic sounding kit, made it sound a little more hybrid, a little more electronic. In this case, depending on how you use these ideas and these principles, you can come up with a lot of different options. In fact, let's go back to the crash symbol. Let's add the pitch effects again and get a nice little interesting sound effect there. So again, a few more options to get creative using the pitch effects and tuning parameters. Just keep in mind that any tuning adjustment you make, if you use the process algorithm, so the higher quality algorithm, and then you use the pitch effects in real time on top of that, you can use that to adjust the pitch of the processed tuned drum sound. And again, we can use the envelope to adjust the pitch over time to get some of those pitch bends. So you can utilize all of these in a variety of ways. In the next video, we'll talk about how you can combine kits of the same drum or different drums using extreme pitch adjustments. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.